When I bought my Meta a few years back, I wanted one bike to do it all. A bike I could climb like a hardtail and descend like a downhill bike. One I could take to the bike park all day long and then ride the dirt jumps in the evening. Today I'll be showing you 10 of my favorite do-it-all enduro bikes. And we start right now. Let's start off this top 10 with the Trek Slash 7. This trail smasher is designed to take on the steep trails and rock gardens. The aluminum frame features a minnow link flip chip to adjust the geometry, down tube and shuttle guards, a knock block 2.0 headset, and a handy internal storage under the water bottle cage. The RockShox Deluxe Select Plus handles 160 mils of rear travel, and a Yari RC takes on the 170 mils up front. Shimano takes care of the shifting and braking with a mix of Dior, SLX, and XT components. It rolls on 29-inch Bontrager wheels and tires, and the rest of the build kit is Bontrager as well. The Slash 7 is available in black olive and factory orange. It retails for $38.29. You can pick one up online or from your local Trek dealer. I'll be going through the bikes fairly quickly so you guys really don't have to skip ahead, but if you really want to nerd out over the specs after the video, there'll be a link for each bike in the description below. Number 9 is taken by the GT Force. The Sport model at 3025 will help you get your foot in the door with a 160mm travel aluminum frame, entry level RockShox suspension, a Dior drivetrain and Tektro brakes. If you can afford a little more though, I'd go for the Carbon Elite model. This will give you a completely new frame for 2022 that features GT's new High Pivot Idler Enhanced LTS system. This new High Pivot linkage extends the axle path rearward giving riders less pedal feedback and a more plush feeling ride with a ton more traction in the chunk. It comes with the RockShox Deluxe Select and Yari RC suspension combo, 12-speed SRAM SX Eagle drivetrain, TRP brakes, and the best aggressive tire combo. Maxxis Asagai and DHR2. At under four grand, GT is offering a lot of new tech with this carbon frame and a solid build kit. With bikes on this list tickling the 4K mark, I know some of you are gonna think that an enduro bike might be out of your price point, but keep watching because I've got bikes coming up that are under $3,000. In at number 8 and rocking a new mullet is the Commensal Meta SX Ride. With the help of their downhill racers, Commensal has been working on perfecting the mullet kinematics for 3 years now. Having a 29 inch front wheel gives you better rollover and the smaller 27.5 rear wheel gives you more maneuverability and responsiveness. The new 160mm travel frame has a flip chip for adjustable geometry and bomb proof enduro bearings. It has a RockShox Deluxe Select Plus and 170mm Zeb suspension combo, SRAM SX Eagle drivetrain, and SRAM 4 piston guide T brakes. It rolls on E13 DH hoops and Maxxis Asagai DHR2 tires, and the rest of the components are all Commonsol's house brand Ride Alpha. The meticulous work and attention to detail Commonsol puts into their aluminum frames is one of the reasons I bought my Meta. And at $3,400, this direct to consumer brand gives you huge bang for buck. All the bikes on this list have similar geometry. A slack head tube angle between 65 and 63 degrees is going to push the front wheel ahead of you, helping you on those steep descents. A steep seat tube angle of around 78 degrees is going to place your body in a comfortable climbing position right over your bottom bracket. The only thing you're going to have to choose is your reach. Longer reach bikes have a longer wheelbase. This will keep the bike super stable at high speeds, but if you like to ride tight trails like here on the North Shore, you might benefit from something a little bit shorter. It's your call. Just think about the types of trails you're going to be riding. At number 7 is the Propane Tai AL Start. This versatile and balanced bike is a potent climber and a killer on the descents. You get a choice between 27.5 and 29 inch wheels, 3 different build kits and 3 different colors. The Start build gives you 170mm travel RockShox Yari RC and 160mm travel Deluxe Select R on the back. A 12-speed SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain will get you to the top of the trailhead, and a set of Magura MT5s with big 203mm rotors will keep your speed control on the steeps. The Tai oozes German engineering, and at $32.99, it's a really good deal. If you don't see the bike you're looking for in the video, or you think I made a huge mistake by not including a specific one, let me know in the comments below. The number 6 spot is taken by the Vetus Summit CR. This is one of the few carbon frames on the budget list and a testament to the great value provided by Vetus. This carbon trail weapon has 162 mils of rear and 170 mils of front travel provided by a RockShox Domain RC and Super Deluxe Select R. It comes kitted out with a reliable Shimano Dior 12-speed drivetrain as well as 4-piston Dior brakes. It rolls on a Maxxis Asagai DHR2 tire combo and has a nuke-proof cockpit. Vetus gives you a ton of choice here with the Summit. Three different frames for whatever wheel combo you'd like to build, 
three 29er builds, and four different mullet builds going all the way up to $62.99. The CR model highlighted here is available from Chain Reaction and Wiggle.com and is only gonna set you back $36.99. Okay, this list is starting to get spicy. All the bikes in the top five are under $3,400 and some even under $3K. Are you guys ready? Rounding off the top five is the YT Capra Core 2. This beautiful enduro bike from YT is available in 29er or mullet and two different colors. The new 2022 frame sports a flip chip to slacken the head tube and raise the bottom bracket for more clearance, SRAM's universal derailleur hanger, and the new Thirstmaster 6000. You get a big Fox 38 and Fox Float X performance to handle the 170 mils of travel front and back. A 12-speed SRAM NX Eagle drivetrain, SRAM Code R brakes, and the popular Maxxis Asagai DHR2 tire combo. The Capra separates its downhill uphill focus with the 60-40 split. It's available direct to consumer from YT's website and will set you back $33.99. Many of the bikes on this list are available online and direct to consumer. Not buying from a local bike shop might concern a few newcomers, but trust me, it's an awesome experience and one I hope to cover soon on the channel. Thanks to all you new subscribers, a bunch of online retailers have reached out to the channel and want to send us some bikes for review. I am super excited for what's coming and can't wait to share it all with you guys. Dropping into number four is the Specialized Status 160. This 160 mil travel mixed wheel beast is one of the best value bikes on this list. With a Fox 36 rhythm with grip damper and a Fox Float X rear shock, the suspension on the Status is dialed. It has a 12 speed SRAM NX Eagle drivetrain, four piston Kodar brakes, and grips the trail with a set of mullet butchers. Other than adding a water bottle and a one-up EDC tool to this thing, there's very little I would change. It retails for $3,000, it's available online or from your local bike shop that sells Specialized. And just like that, we made it to the top three. There are so many bikes I wanted to show you guys, I could have made a top 20. But the next three are the definition of bang for buck. Skidding into the top three is the Marin Alpine Trail 7. Marin built this bike for rowdy riders who want a bike that can withstand some abuse. It's available in four different variations, including a sweet coil build, as well as some carbon models going all the way up to 4,500 bucks. The aluminum frame on the 7 features modern aggressive geometry and a one-piece forged rocker to increase strength and stiffness. The 7 gives you a great platform to start on with 160 mil travel RockShox Yari RC fork and 150 mil travel Deluxe Select Plus RT rear shock. It sports a 12-speed Shimano Dior drivetrain and 4-piston Shimano MT420 brakes. The wheels are Marin's 29-inch alloy wheels and they're wrapped with 2.6-inch wide V-tire flow snaps. Everything here is tubeless ready. You can pick up the Alpine Trail from Bikes Online or Jensen USA and it's under $3,000. Everyone is talking about the number two bike on my list right now, the Ibis Ritmo AF. With its brand new updated geometry, the new Ritmo is getting praise from anyone who swings a leg over it. This beastly 29er splits the line 50-50 between climbing efficiency and downhill performance. The Dior build comes in under $3,000 and is stacked with great parts. It has a 160 millimeter travel bomber Z1 coil fork and a DVO Topaz T3 air shock that handles 147 mils of rear travel. It's outfitted with a 12 speed Dior drivetrain and controls its speed with the trusty four piston Dior brakes. It comes with dual Maxxis Asa guys, a KS Rage dropper post and some Ibis bling. It's available in two different colors, three different build kits. It's on sale right now from Jensen USA and get this, it's in stock in all sizes. Probably the most popular bike from the biggest direct-to-consumer brand in the world, the number one bike on this budget enduro list is the Canyon Spectral AL5. The aluminum frame has been optimized over the years to give you the perfect blend between high speed stability and low speed agility. The Fox 36 rhythm with grip damper and Fox Float X handle the 160 mils of front and 150 mils of rear travel. It comes with the reliable 12 speed Shimano Dior drivetrain and super strong four piston Shimano Dior brakes. The cockpit is all Canyon parts and it grips the trail with the Maxxis DHR2s. The AL5 comes in at $28.99 and is a sick build for a sweet price. Canyon offers the Spectral in 125 mil or 150 mils of travel, 27.5, 29er or mullet wheels, aluminum or carbon, as well as a charged up E version. Which leads me to my next question. What do you guys think about e-bikes? Personally, I'd love to have one. I think shortening the amount of time it takes climbing all the way up to the trailheads just to squeeze in some more riding time is a great thing. 
I'm making a short list of e-bikes I'm considering right now and I'll post it right here when it's ready. I'll see you guys in the next one.